In this example, we are going to try and use a swarf cutting program to cut the U shape in the center of this part. The first thing we need to do is check to the draft angle, make sure these sections are able to be machined using swarf cutting. This wall is at one degree. The radius is at 1.41. Because of this difference, this entire U-shape won't be able to be used in swarf cutting. For this example, we will use the lower taper to show you how this toolpath works. The next thing I am going to do is move the surfaces I am going to use to another layer to make them easier to work with. Now that I have them there, I'm going to extend the ends so the end of the surface is straight so the tool will follow properly. The next step in the process is to create comp curves to drive the program. For this, we're going to use Create 3D Curve Open Edge, which will find the open edges of the surfaces we select. Click them, execute, and select the corners you want to divide the curves. Next, we need to make sure the curves are running in the same direction. This, we're going to use comp curve invert direction. We want to invert this one so that both this curve and this curve are running in the same direction. The next step is to create the profile. Select the swarf cutting program. Make sure the correct template is selected. We're going to call this program swarf. I'm going to go to the tool database. We're going to do this with a 10 millimeter bull nose cutter. Once the profile has been created, we need to set the parameters. For this toolpath, we're not going to use a surface to machine, so we're going to clear that out of the program. We're going to use a drive surface, which will be the surfaces that we are going to drive the program with. We'll select those, and we're going to use an outer contour, which is going to be the top and bottom comp curves that we've created. Next, we'll check the program. We're going to make a larger step down to use only the side flutes of the end mill. We also need to make sure our tool can cut to these parameters. Next, we are going to try and calculate this program. It gives us an error, which when shown, says there's an interference error. When you right click, show calculation interference error, it is showing errors in the corners. 
What this is caused by is the software being confused in these areas. What we're going to do is give it a little bit more information to help it understand what to do. We're going to use create parameter lines on these radiuses. And we are going to select those section contours in the program. One last thing we're going to change in order to calculate the program easier is open up the maximum G01 length. Now you see the program that was created. The reason it is below the surface is this number here. This value, when put at zero, will create the toolpath at the bottom of the surface.